Hello friends, we are in a new project ECU tutorial. In this we are going to indicate the first steps for the installation of an AQ. This video is only a recommendation from us to you. Following these steps we hope that common failures are avoided. We are going to start by saying what is a project ECU. We will not give a definition as such. We are going to indicate what the kit includes, which inputs and outputs it needs, then we will continue with how to start an installation and what issues we will have in the process. Well, let's get started. We will start to explain what is a project AQ by showing the contents of a kit. On the hardware side it has the AQ itself that can be like this, or also like this, it depends on the model you have. Then we have the USB cable that we see here. And the harness or wiring. On the software side we have Tuner Studio which is the software for configuration and tuning. We have the Megalog Viewer which is to analyze logs. We have the Tune Reset Files, Manual, and others like Fast Guides, Tutorials, How to Guides. Then what connections does Project ECU have? The AQ requires very few signals to work. CKP, CMP, IAT, CLT, TPS, O2, and MAP Vacuum, Boost Source, along with 12V and GND. For outputs the basics are fuel pump, fan, injectors and ignitions. As optionals we have launch control input. That's all, it's very simple and minimal. Where can I find all the information? The main source will be www.projectecu.com, Facebook and YouTube. Now we will go for the 6 recommended steps to follow to avoid the common mistakes and to have a successful start. First step is, connect to AQ and hardware test. This is to power the AQ with 12V and GND, connect the laptop to the internet, install the USB driver, connect AQ to USB, install Tuner Studio, create a new project, autodetection.ini file. And very important, do a hardware test. This means turn on and off the individual ignition and injector outputs and see them working with a multimeter or LED probe. Second step is, follow the how to connect to a project ECU tutorial. It will explain how to install the USD driver and create the project on Tuner Studio. Third step, basic configuration. This is to do the minimal configuration on Tuner Studio. It is highly recommended to do the minimal to avoid configuration mistakes. The minimal configuration should be trigger type and teats, number of cylinders, size of injectors, set semi-sequential on fuel and coils, set CLT and IAT calibrations if you know them. Fourth step, trigger and RPM. On this step, we recommend only to wire power for the AQ and CKP, CMP sensor, if needed, and to wire the signal from the sensor to the AQ. Then give starter to let the engine spin and see in Tuner Studio the RPMs and sync losses gauges. It should have 200 to 400 RPMs and zero sync losses or near zero. Very very important, because these are the main two sources of failure in an AQ install. Then we proceed to fifth step, connect coils and verify. Yes, this is the third main source of failure in an AQ install. Here we will avoid to have an incorrect pinout for the coils, and to have incorrect type of coils connected to the AQ. The AQ only accepts smart coils, or dumb coils, through an ignition module. SW. 1. Connect the coils. 2. Check if there is heating in the coils, turn power on, and do it quickly. 3. Use hardware test to check AQ ignition output voltage, to look for possible wrong pinouts. 4. Check if spark is present turning fast on and of the button on the hardware test page on Tuner Studio. The safest method is to connect just one coil for these procedures, and to be careful because coils can burn if wired incorrectly. And now is sixth and last step for this first steps guide. Welcome aboard you will have a peaceful installation. The next is to connect the rest of the sensors, inputs, outputs and proceed to find the trigger angle for your application. Remember the requirements logic level coils or separate module high z injectors or low z with resistors map loaded in aq is used to start engine and start tuning or to start remote tuning grounds 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 very important to make good and correct wiring for grounds as a quick tip there is a video on how to find the triggering angle using no tools and in less than one minute 
And also remember that a flood clear functionality exists on the AQ. This same step-by-step -step methodology can be applied for wiring TPS or injectors, etc. So happy tuning and race secure! See you on the next tutorial.